The cross-cutting concepts, or CCCs for short, are broad. So the first steps in understanding how they might support student learning involve knowing what they actually are, how the NGSS defines them, and how to identify them within science content. This pair of activities will accomplish those goals. The first CCC activity is called speed dating. It will familiarize participants with the language that NGSS uses to define the cross-cutting concepts. The second activity is called the station rotation. Participants will visit stations with printouts and photos of different phenomena, some of which are science-related and some of which are not. They'll try to identify the cross-cutting concept that unifies those phenomena. The stations are fairly simple, so this is just a surface-level look at the CCCs, but it's a good starting point to build a foundation for later exploration. Between these two activities, participants learn what the CCCs are and one way they might use them in the classroom, which is using them to classify phenomena into a larger framework. The CCCs can help move students away from memorizing discrete, isolated facts and towards having categorized methods of understanding, more like the way scientists typically do analyze phenomena. This relates to the chess metaphor we use in a different activity. The CCCs directly provide this framework. They're consistent across the K-12 curriculum and into how science is practiced in today's laboratories and universities. At the end of these two activities, participants should know that there are seven CCCs, that the NGSS uses specific language to define them, and that they can be used as a framework to classify phenomena. Be sure to read the lesson plan for this activity and check out the next video to learn about another way to use the cross-cutting concepts.